Hello. Good evening. Hi, class. Hello, Miss. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. So, you're I have fine? a problem the homework. Yes, you're... Yeah. What happened so, with the homework? You know, say three conversations in the homework. Mm -hmm. The number uh, 3.4. Okay. I have the problem in the letter B and the and the practice question. Second B is 3.4. Okay, let me check. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Just give me a second. This is not the correct course. Okay. 3.4. Let's see. Okay, okay. This one. Is this the one? Uh, you remember yesterday is uh, where mm -hmm. is from? Okay. Okay, three point four. You say it. Three point four. Three point four. No. Oh. Buenas noches. Hi class. Welcome. Okay, let me do something. Vamos a volver a entrar. Don't worry. Hi class. Welcome. Ahorita resolvemos, Iván. Don't worry. Okay. I know what's going on. Ya sé qué pasó. Este es principiante uno. I'm looking to another course. Estaba en otro curso. Don't worry. That's why it doesn't match the information. So class, don't forget to have your camera on. Please write your full name and be ready to participate today. So let me go and check. Don't you worry, you know, today we are going to continue with section number three. We have some activities and topics from section number three. So probably, Ah, aquí estamos. Okay, let me see. 3.4, now I can see. Uh, you need to use uh, questions, right? Where to be? Aquí está. Bien. Is this the one, este, Ivan? Yes, miss. Okay, so. Conversation number two, please. Number two, this one. Oh, you from Tokyo, este. Next. Conversation number two, this, oh, conversation Next. number two. Yeah. Is Laura okay. from USA? Mm -hmm. That's okay, is Laura from the US? No. I don't understand here. No, she is. No, she is. Ya tenemos el not. No, she is not. That's okay. 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 I understand. So. And, and then we have yeah, uh -huh, another question. Yes. The platform is a uh, model called incorrect. Oh, really? Yep. So, you know, whenever you have problems, les explico. Cuando tengamos algún problema y ustedes están seguros que su respuesta está correcta, Envíenme la captura de pantalla, de screenshot, porque a veces puede suceder de que eh, sí, la plataforma tal vez no reconoce algún punto, alguna mayúscula, 
Y para poder nosotros corregir eso también, es necesario que ustedes me lo reporten, ¿ok? Yo siempre trato también de completar todos los ejercicios para que cuando me pidan ayuda, eh, yo saber de qué sección están hablando. ¿Ok? So, don't worry. Iván, si le ¿Sí? sigue dando problema, envíenme el screenshot y yo le ayudo. ¿Ok? ¿Puedo compartir la pantalla? You can. Let me see. Sure. Go ahead, please. Miss, look here. She is. Ah, ok. Um, pongámoslo en minúscula. No, she's not. Porque está en medio de la oración. Entonces, she is. Teacher. Yes. Ok. Eh, a mí me daba el mismo problema, pero me lo agarró ya cuando puse el... Cuando lo acorté. No le ponía okay, she. Short form. She's. Short form. She's. she's. Ok, uh -huh. let's try in that one. El signo. El apóstrofe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Very good. So let's try with that one. Probemos con ese. Sí, hay como tres o cuatro oraciones que se usa recortada la, la palabra. Okay. No mm -hmm. la acepta cuando uno pone cheese o you are. Ok. Hay que unirlo. How about now? Iván, veamos. Ah, es que también necesitamos tener cuidado cuando utilizamos apóstrofe eh, y no tilde, porque si no, no lo reconoce también. Ese es otro, otro detalle. Tiene que ser el apóstrofe, no la tilde. Ya, yeah, try with that one, please. Ok, there you go. Muy bien, muy bien. Saben que este ejercicio nos sirve también a todos para saber eh, por qué la plataforma a veces no identifica. En este caso, si se fija, Iván, era el apóstrofe. Muy bien, great job. So, please clap. Sorry, so sorry. No, no, al contrario. Eso no nos funciona. I'm not looking at the apostrophe. Ajá. It's different the position. Ajá, yes. and you know, sometimes it depends. Uh -huh. Exactly, Iván. A veces, eh, ese es el detallito. Tenemos que tener ese cuidado. El apóstrofe eh, con el, la tilde puede parecerse mucho. Y la plataforma no lo va a identificar igual. Ok, but, but that's okay. Gracias, Thank Iván, por Thank compartir you. esa experiencia, you know. Nos sirve a todos. Great. So, let me have... Uh, in this case, Cristina, Susana, Eric, put your cameras on, please. So let's start the class right now. You know, yesterday we were practicing um, some vocabulary, right? And some grammar structure. So let me show you what we have for today. This is class number six. Imagine this is class number six already. So let's go to the topics for today. Here we go. Class number. Okay, yesterday we were practicing with negative statements with the verb to be. Negative statements with the verb to be. Okay, so for this class, the topic is easy. It's a very easy topic. And we're going to practice numbers from 11 to 103. And at the same time, we are going to practice how to express ages. What is your age? How old you are, you know, using numbers. If you remember, In the first week of classes, we were practicing numbers from 1 to 10 to give telephone numbers information. In this case, we are going to continue practicing pronunciation and also spelling of numbers from 11 to 103, okay? So this is class number six. This is the teacher's name, so you can remember 
the teacher's name as well. And let's start right now. Let me see, let me check the chat. Uh, okay, Eric, thank you so much for letting me know. Gracias, Eric. Uh, you know, a recommendation, siempre la recomendación es cualquier inconveniente con cámara, tratemos de o expresarlo eh, aquí, eh, audible, que quede en la grabación. Teacher, solicito permiso por tal razón. Mi cámara no la puede encender por tal razón. No todo, ¿verdad? Siempre tiene que ser muy justificable. O en el chat grupal en WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Para que no vean que no es, que no queremos eh, encender cámara o no queremos seguir la indicación, sino puede ser por un inconveniente, ¿verdad? So, that is a recommendation that we need to follow. Right. So, class, it's really nice to see you. This is class number six. Today is, who can tell me what day is it today? Today is, is it Monday today? today All is right. Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday or Tuesday? Thursday. Tuesday. Oh, Thursday, no, we wish to be Thursday, but it's not Thursday. Today is Tuesday. Imagine the second day of classes in the week, Tuesday. So the first activity that we're going to have today is to go and practice, you know, go and practice saying numbers, expressing numbers. And for that, we have a video with the correct pronunciation. So I need you to listen and then we're going to practice. So here we go. Let's start with this activity. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay, so... This is the first activity. If you see, we're going to practice pronunciation again. So don't you worry. Numbers from 11 to 103. So let me go back to the platform so I can take a picture of this exercise. You know, uh, you can also find the same information in your book. Okay, go to the student's book and you can find the same information there, right? So I need you to practice with me. 
But first, do you remember the pronunciation from numbers for numbers from 1 to 10? ¿Quién se acuerda de la pronunciación? Numbers from 1 to 10. Let me see. Do I have a volunteer? Empecemos por eso. Pronunciation from numbers eh, 1 to 10. ¿Quién se acuerda de la correct pronunciation? So we can continue. Yeah. Okay, go please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, please tell me the name of one of your classmates. El nombre de uno de sus compañeros. So he or she can participate. One. Yes. Nombre de uno de sus compañeros, please. Um, Iván Hernández. Oh, Ivan, can you pronounce numbers from 1 to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, okay, great. Ivan, please tell me the name of one of your classmates. Santos Cruz. Okay, please go ahead and pronounce numbers. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, don't forget to make the correct intonation. Okay, seven, eight, nine, and, and ten. Very good job. So, as I can see, that is not that difficult, right? No es tan difícil pronunciar esos numbers from one to ten. You still remember the correct pronunciation. So, let me show you a picture of these numbers so we can practice together. Look. Here we have the same information, numbers from 11 to 103. Look, what do we have first in the first column? Primera columna, column, right? We have numbers from 11 to 20, but Look at these numbers, 11 and 12, 11 and 12. And let me have this other group. What do you see or what do these numbers have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común? From 13 to 19, what do they have in common? Todos terminan en ten. That all of those numbers, they end or they finish with the word teen. Exactly. Teen. So, don't forget from 13 up to 19, those are similar ending numbers, right? So, 13, 4, 15, 15, 16, 18, and 19. So look, what do they have in common? Look at this one. 16, 17, 18, and 19. ¿Qué tienen estos cuatro en común? What do they have in common? ¿Qué le ven de común? ¿O qué le ven de especial a estos números? Que terminan en 2 E. Mentín. Uh -huh. ¿Qué terminan en doble E? Doble E. Con el número. Very sí. good, as well, ok. And we can spot this other difference, right? Que empezamos escribiendo el número. 6 y luego le agregamos teen, ya se convierte en 16. 6, 10, 17, 18, and 19. But be careful, no todos tienen esa regla, right? Because if you see, miren el 13, cambia su escritura. And 4 as well. Right? Oh, and 4 as well. Muy bien, excellent. And 4 as well. Es verdad. Aquí tenemos otro ejemplo, 14. 
So number 13 and number 15, we are going to change the spelling of these numbers, right? El 13 se convierte en fair. Okay, let me write it again. Third. And then we write T. Oops. No podemos decir 13. No, eso no existe. Okay, so son números que va a cambiar su spelling, su forma de deletreo. Right, 13. Y lo mismo para el 15. We cannot say 15. No. Esto no existe. ¿Qué hacemos? Fifth. Team. Entonces, miren, de la primera columna, ¿cuáles los que tenemos que prestar atención? Más que todo son 13 and 15. 13 and 15. Right? Ya se nos reducen un poquito los que les tenemos que prestar atención. 13 and 15. So, let's continue. 20 numbers from 20 to 29. What do you see in common? ¿Qué ven que tienen en común estos números? What do they have in common? Que todo inicia en todo. Todo All of the numbers, todos empiezan con 20. Right, with this expression, 20. ¿Y qué les agregamos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So easy to remember. Fácil de recordar. Twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Easy to remember. No cambia la spelling de ninguno de esos. Right. That's it. Easy, fácil. Vámonos a los 30. Aquí sí tenemos un par de cambios. 30 al 39. Same process. Del 30 al 39. We do the same. 31, 32, 33, 34. Y así nos vamos hasta el 39. But if you see, when we reach number 40, this is going to change. Look. 40. Don't confuse four. We are not going to write 40 now. Esto no existe. Solo es para el 14. Four. Teen. Y el 40, ¿qué pasa? Miren. 40. No lleva U. 14, yes. 40, no. No U. Quitamos esa U. ¿Ok? 14 se lleva U como su número, pero el 40 no, se pierde esa U. So 40. And we do the same process. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And then we have 50. 50. Spelling is different, right? 60. Hmm? Okay. ¿Qué tienen en común estos? Look, 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 look. ¿Qué tienen en común? What do they have in common? En T o T. T en Y. Aha, uh -huh. so sí. from number 20, from number 90, they are going to finish with T and Y, right? From number 20 to number 90, they are going to end in this one, right? ¿Qué pasa del 13 al 19? Van a terminar en? Team. Team. Mm -hmm. So those are the rules, the spelling rules. ¿Cómo tenemos que escribir? So 40, 50, 60, okay, 70, 80, 90. Now let me give you another one. 
Miren eso. Take a look at this number. This one. And this one. Listen to the pronunciation. 40, 50, 60. Estamos bien. Then, if you want to sound natural. Si quieren sonar natural, we can say. 70. Ok. 80. 90. 70. Mm, not really. 70. 80. 90. Ok. Listen again. 70. 80. 90. Right. The pronunciation. It's a little bit different. But teacher, can I say 70. 80, 90, you can. But if you want to sound natural, you can say 70, 80, and 90. Right. And after that, we have three digit numbers. Three digit numbers. It's starting from this one, 100. We can say 100, or we can also say... <coughs> A hundred, <laughs> right? A hundred. Or a hundred, that's okay. That's the same meaning. One hundred, one, <laughs> or we can include one hundred and one. It is up to you. You can also say one hundred two, or you can also say one hundred and two. <laughs> You can also say 103 or 103, right? Questions about spelling and pronunciation. Preguntas, quiero escucharlos ahorita. Yes, questions? Comments about numbers? Why can we go to practice right now? Podemos practicar ya. Okay, how do you pronounce this one, class? How do you pronounce this number? Daddy. Mm -hmm. one, once again, please. Daddy. Very, very. Remember this sound, the TH sound. Very. Very. Thirteen. Okay. Thirty. Thirteen. Or if we also say this number. Thirty-three. We need to make that sound stronger, right? Thirty-three. Thirteen. Thirty-three and thirty. Right? So probably that is the most difficult number in pronunciation, right? Because we need to make the TH sound clear. Okay? So questions about numbers. Let me see you. Quiero verlos. Preguntas con los números. ¿Cómo está la explicación? Do you want me to repeat some information or is it clear? ¿Cómo estamos con la explicación? ¿Necesitan que repita algo? ¿Nos sentimos seguros de la pronunciación de los números? ¿Yes? No. Yes. <risa> pronunciación no mucho. Pronunciación no mucho. Ok, don't worry. So, let's practice pronunciation. No se preocupen, ¿saben qué? Para eso son las sesiones, para que ustedes sepan preguntar o teacher repitamos practiquemos right because muchas veces esta es la única hora que les queda a ustedes para practicar inglés so that's why it's necessary so let's go back to the platform and listen again to the pronunciation and we are going to repeat to 103 and talk about your okay. age and the age of relatives and friends. Here we go. 
Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Okay, here we Listen go. Listen and repeat. 11. Okay, class? 11. 14 18 18 18 18 19 19 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 103 and 102 and 103 and 103 okay let's go back to this one okay so which is difficult for you which is difficult to pronounce cuál es costo más pronunciar which one el 30 el 30 verdad 30 Exactly, you know, ese es el que más problema da muchas veces. Sorry. 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 El 13, ¿cómo lo pronunciamos? Um, Thirteen. 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 Sí, el 10 sube la pronunciación. Fourteen. Fifteen. Right? 
Puede escribir cómo se cómo se pronuncia el 30, por favor, así como se pronuncia. Ok. ¿Cómo se cómo Gracias. así? Ok, wait. ¿Cómo se lo Viva, en español? <risa> ok, le doy mejor una clave, don't you worry. Whenever you don't know. Ok, esta es la única vez en que les voy a recomendar utilizar el traductor, no para otras cosas. So, translator. Translator o translate. Right. Única ocasión que les digo. Miren, número 30. Si se fijan, es bien útil esta herramienta. Cuando le damos acá, 30. 30. Y inmediatamente me aparece cómo se pronuncia. Cómo se pronuncia. Y miren, aquí nos da una escritura que es como la pronunciación, lo que me está pidiendo ahorita, Eunice. Miren. 30. 30. Y luego, T. 30. 30. 30. Más despacio. 30. 30. 30. 30. Right? So, cuando tengan dudas de cómo se pronuncia y no está la teacher cerca o alguien que les ayude, utilicemos, <coughs> es bien útil esta herramienta para los que estamos aprendiendo a pronunciar, right? Y lo pueden escuchar e incluso ver cómo se mueve la boca. 30. 30. Right? And you can listen once in another time. Let's try with another. Thank you. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Veamos 13. Aquí está el 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Texto grande, porque ahí se pierde la idea. Ok, so to pronounce, try to use that to write. So let me see, let's go. Let's go back to practice. Let me go to my board. Vamos a mi pizarra. Veamos. I'm going to write a number and then you're going to tell me. The correct pronunciation, right? Here we go. Class, what number is this one? Fifty. 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 Eleven. Thirteen. 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 Thirte
Okay, Audi, what number is this one? Eighteen. Mm, I don't know. Eighty-eight. Eighty. 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 Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Very good. Catherine Jasmine, what is number is this one? Eighteen. 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 Very good. Rosa Karina, what number is this one? Ninety-nine. 99. Nathanael, what number is this one? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Relax, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. 103. Sophia, what number is this one? 100 and... 100. 100, very good job. Relax, relax. We are just practicing. Ruth Elizabeth, what number is this one? Mm -hmm. 70? 70, 77. 77, very good job. Uh, Christina. Tell me this number, please. Um, this one. 11. Very good job. 11. Let me have El, Eunice, please. What number is this one? 101. 101, and one. exactly. Mm -hmm. Jamie Lex, what number is this one? Mm -hmm. One more time, please. 60? 60. Very good job. Fernando, tell me this number, please. Mm, this one. 29. 29, very good. 29, that's okay. Jocelyn, Yvette, what number is this one? Um, Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Very good. I band. What number is this one? Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Very good. Omar, Eric Omar. Please. What number is this one? Ninety-nine. Close your microphone. 99, very good job. Okay, wait, let me do something, don't worry. Okay, okay. Now we cannot listen to that one. Susana, Elizabeth, what number is this one? 102. 102. So, great. Now let me ask you again questions about the pronunciation of numbers. Teacher, I want to say something. Sophie. I think that both pronunciation and correct are correct, but the pronunciation 20, 29 is the pronunciation of American people, and the pronunciation 29 is the pronunciation of England people. Right, but what type of English are we learning right now? Are we learning American English or British? What do you think? American, American, American English. Exactly, so I really like your comment, Sophie. Very, very um, important information, right? Whenever people ask you, cuando les pregunten, what type of English do you speak? Remember that we are learning American English, right? So we try to imitate American pronunciation. But you can also go and listen to British, British pronunciations as well. So excellent, Sophie. Time to okay. practice. We're going to practice. What is the question that we need to practice? Easy question. How old are you? 
How old are you? Please don't confuse how old are you with this question. They may, may sound similar, pueden sonar similares, pero no significan lo mismo. Hey class, how old are you? Y todos me dicen, I'm fine, teacher. No, te estoy preguntando cómo estás. How old are you? How old are you? ¿Qué significaría? The age. Uh -huh. I really need to know about your age. Right? Age. So, how old? You know, la traducción sería rara en español. ¿Qué tan viejo eres? No, suena raro, pero no. ¿Qué edad tienes? Right? How old are you? Age. And how are you? ¿Qué les estoy tratando de preguntar con how are you? About your... Your feelings, right? Mm -hmm. Feelings. ¿Cómo se sienten? I'm good. I'm sad today. I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. So, how old are you? Let's practice this question. How old are you? And you are going to find about your classmates' information. Right. Pregúntenles, how old are you? Or you can be specific. Pueden ser específicos. Por ejemplo, Cristina. How old are you? Right? You can mention people's or your classmates' names at the beginning. And the possible answer. I am. Look, there to be. I am 31 years old. Teacher, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. Right? We cannot say never. We cannot say I have 31 years old. Nunca vamos a decir con el verbo have. Si es cierto que en español decimos yo tengo. Pero no podemos estar traduciendo literal del inglés. Por eso es que decimos I am. Aunque suene raro. But never. I have. Y si clear. ¿Está claro esta explicación? I have. Nunca. Prohibido. Este es un pecado. Right. Never say that in English. Right. We are going to say I am. I am 31 years old. We always express ages using the verb to be. So, vamos a preguntarle a sus compañeros. How old are you? How old are you? School and working groups. Please, anoten el nombre de sus compañeros. Porque después yo les pregunto. Ok. Here we go. How old are you? Vamos a ir cambiando de salas. Para que no trabajen con los mismos. Here we go. How old are you? Remember to say hi to your classmates. Here we go. Go and practice right now. There we go. Excellent. Okay, what is the question, Elena and Jocelyn? How old are you? Okay, go please. I'm, I'm gonna listen to you. How old are you, eh, Guadalupe? I am eh, 29. 29, what? 29 years old. How old are you, uh, Jocelyn? I am 23 years old. Excellent. Don't forget to say years old. Years old. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's go to another one. Here we go. Vamos a otra sala.
Hello. Okay, I took you back because I'm going to create bigger groups. I need to create bigger groups so you can talk to different classmates. Don't forget to say years old at the end. No solo digan, I'm 31. No, I'm 31 years old, right? So we can practice the correct structure. Right. So just give me a second. Okay, there we go. Fourteen seconds, thirteen seconds. Okay, I'm going to create bigger groups. Creo salas más grandes, así pueden conocer a más compañeros, right? Not in pairs. Okay, here we go. Last time, practice. Talk to your classmates. Aquí vamos. Practiquen entre todos. Here we go. This is the last time. Última vez en salas, okay? Here we go. ¿Quién empieza? Yo. Excelente. ¿A quién le pregunto? Quiero ver. A cualquiera, mí. Quiera, pregúntale ahí. Quiera. Silvia. A Silvia. Silvia. Silvia, how old are you? Eh, I am. I am. 23. Year old. Okay. 23. Silvia, pregunta tú ahora. Uh, vamos a ver. Noemi, how old are you? I am 23 years old. Um, Jenny, how old are you? I am 21 years old. Okay. Um, Rosa, how, how old are you? I'm 29, 28 years old. I am 25 years old. It's okay. I am 33 years old. Creo que ya están todos, ¿o no? ¿Ya yeah, are you? Sí. You finish. Finish. Ok, Karen, how old are you? I am 35 years old. Ok, how about you, Maritza? How old are you? I am 48 years old. Great, Sara, and you? How old are you? Uh, I am 23 years old. Okay, how about you, Catherine? How old are you? I am I am 25 years old. Great, Karina, how about you? How old are you? I am 24 years old. Okay, and you, Fernando, how old are you? Yeah, I am 24 years old. And you, Ruth, how old are you? I am 21 years old. Okay, Sara, how are you? Um, uh, how are you? <laughs> exactly. Go. Ah, there you go. You're go. paying attention. Bien, están prestando atención. How are you, teacher? Yes. Don't you worry. Excellent. So, wow, you are young people. Todos están muy jóvenes. Excellent. So, don't forget. Try to sound natural. No le tengan pena sus comentarios. Try to speak in a very relaxed way. You're doing a great job, okay? Continue practicing. We are about to finish the class, okay? Did you finish? Hi, Miss. How are you? You finished? Yes. Uh, 
Yes, you did. Cristina, how old are you? Um, I am 25 years old. Oh, you're 25. Ebonice, how are you? I am 33 years old. How are you? Uh, fine. Oh, there you go. Hi, thanks. And you? Aha, uh -huh. you see, you need to be careful, <laughs> right? How are mm -hmm. you and how old are you? Guadalupe, yes. how old are you? I am 29. 29, okay. Jocelyn, how old are you? I am 23 years old. Okay, Ivan, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Excellent, there we go. You need to be ready, right? Questions mm -hmm. about pronunciation? Yes, no? Yeah, I have a question. Please. Is necessary in the Finnish all years, years all, um, or only that number? Yes, you know, eh, para que aprendamos la estructura, tal y cual es, digamos ahorita years all, pero si no, I'm 25, 21, I'm 31. Y se entiende, ¿ok? Porque yeah. ya la pregunta me está, me está denotando que me están preguntando de la edad, right? Por eso es que lo hago, para que aprendamos la estructura. But now you can say I'm 21, I'm 31, right? Great. Wow, oh, Ivan siempre tiene muy excelentes preguntas. I really like that. Excellent, Ivan. Vamos, chicos. Volvamos. Hi, Lillian. How are you? Creo que está todavía de camino a casa, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Okay, don't worry. Esperemos a sus compañeros. Let's wait for your classmates. Great job. So you see, I was listening to you, class. And yes, you are doing an excellent job. You are doing a very good job. So you see, um, última explicación y tomamos la lista de asistencias. Para sonar más natural, bien, Iván me hacía una aclaración y es verdad, very good job, ven, todos aprendemos de todos y todos aportamos a la clase. ¿Por qué les enseño esta estructura? I'm 31 years old. Para que sepamos cómo se expresa en inglés la estructura completa y correcta, right. Pero lo más común o lo que van ustedes a escuchar Va a ser la forma corta de responder, like this one. I'm 31. I'm uh, 64 years old. I'm 801 years old, right? Podemos decirlo de la forma corta. I'm 31, I'm 64. I'm 101, right? También así se expresa la edad en inglés. Clear. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Ambas formas es correcto. La más común, yes. más natural, solo el número. I'm. ¿Por qué? Porque la pregunta ya me está diciendo que estoy hablando de la edad. How old are you? Great. So this was a very productive class. I'm going to check the attendance list right now. Veamos. Aquí vamos. Please say here or present. Here we go. Okay, I can see. Mañana revisamos quienes han completado la plataforma sección 1 y 2, right? Maybe not today because of the time. So, Audi. Present. Cristina América. Present. Delmis Elizabeth. Present. Eric David. Eric Omar. Ok, Eric se estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Fernando Heriberto. Present. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Iván Alexander. 
Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Karen Jamilet. Karina Alejandra. Present. Katherine Jasmine. Present. Okay. Lilian Abigail. Mayra Xiomara. Present. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Nathanael Adonai. Noemi Esperanza. I'm here. Oscar Rolando. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Santos Carlos. Sara Elizabeth. Present. Santos Carlos. Great. Sara Idania. Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Sofía Michelle. Present. Susana Elizabeth. Present. Great. Toyita Eunice. Present. Yesenia Carolina. Jocelyn Yvette. Present. Soy la eh, esperanza. Okay, she's not here. Remember, la asistencia es muy importante, ¿ok? Luego les muestro cómo se ve el progreso de su asistencia, ¿ok? Para que vean que sí, contamos cada minutito de conexión. So, class, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining. In. En verdad, espero verlos mañana para que no perdamos el progreso de nuestro curso, ¿ok? You did an excellent job today. Congratulations to all of you. Don't forget to practice the pronunciation of numbers because tomorrow I'm going to ask you as well. So have a great night. See you Thank tomorrow, you. class. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.